Hello everyone. Um, this isn't the type of video I wanted to start off as the first video for this channel in 2024, but you know, I've had so many things on my mind, the rebrand of my channel, um, making my best albums list. I have two album reviews coming out next week, some point. And then I read news, like what I woke up to, as this is per his personal Instagram, as well as his old label Capture Tracks issued, that dark wave artist Luis Vasquez of the musical project The Soft Moon tragically died this morning at the age of 44. The cause of death is unknown and it's really not important right now. His family deserves the privacy. And I'm going to talk a little bit about my experiences with The Soft Moon, with Luis's music my feelings, and why I'm deeply saddened today. Also, I'll leave links to the USA Today report on this, as well as some other links to different Instagram pages. When it comes to the Soft Moon, there are maybe a couple songs of his that I really knew, being Try and Breathe the Fire, both songs that I really do like. But he wasn't an artist that I would go out of my way to listen to. If he was on a playlist, I would enjoy his songs. But the reason why I'm so saddened about this loss is because, A, it's a human life. And we should, especially one, a guy who was known to just be such a kind, gentle human. Just going on the, the subreddit and just reading comments, reading Instagram comments of people saying what a nice guy Luis was, how much he loved his fans, and I hurt for them today. As well as he was kind of the big brother to so many artists and bands on this label. The band Beach Fossils, who I really like, I really love their last record, wrote a beautiful tribute to Luis, thanking him for all he did for them. He was on the label with other artists and bands that I really like, like Wild Nothing, Dive, Widow Speak, and Mac DeMarco, and as well as The Soft Moon, they were all on this one record label making incredible music in one decade. And he was someone who a lot of those younger guys looked up to, and it's just so crazy to see how at the at really the ripe young age of 44 years old, Luis's life was taken from him. It's something that really just makes you think. It makes you count every day, you know, thank, be thankful for every single day. And it's not something that I like to talk about, but I know Luis had a lot of angst in his music. There was anger there. There were feelings, as there is for a lot of artists. And it can be so stressful to balance everything out in your mind. Just go through that and just think day in and day out. It gets to all of us. And this is a case of an artist who deserved so much more exposure. I was really surprised just looking him up how little you know you can see some reviews but this was a guy who made genuinely great music and some critics liked his music but it really didn't have the commercial success that I really feel it deserves and hopefully in retrospect even as sad as his death is I hope in retrospect, people listen to The Soft Moon. People discover his music and what he did for the indie music community, the creativity that's there. I don't want this video to go too long and I'm not gonna promote anything else in here. I'm just gonna say, I'm sorry to his fans, the Soft Moon family, the Captured Tracks Records family, all the bands like Dive, Widow Speak, Mac DeMarco, Wild Nothing, everyone who he touched and inspired, 
and I am sorry for to his family and loved ones for their loss. Rest in peace, Luis. Thank you for watching.